Hi friends, this is Leela. Welcome to my channel Leela Web Dev. So up to now we have successfully completed the cart page, adding a car, adding the product into the cart, displaying the cart details, and also the deleting the cart item. Everything is completed. Now it's time for us to design the another page that is nothing but orders. So now the user has successfully added the products into his cart, and now he wants to make an order for this one. So we will add a button here something in your in your e-commerce website generally we will add a button here checkout button and in this checkout button when we click on this checkout button automatically these are all the product items which are in the cart it will be purchased so we will be having a payment gateway where the user successfully makes the payment then automatically these cart items will be converted into your order details so right now we will not implement this payment page so immediately when the user clicks on the checkout it has to move to the orders so that means it has to move to the orders so now in, in order to move these all the items into the order we need to design the table structure for these orders also so let's try to understand these orders thing so now we have we should have an orders table okay so this one is this should be related with the user and also with the product also why because order means nothing but a user will keep the order okay the cart is not the reason so user will keep the order and upon successful adding the cart items he will successfully make the order and the order what are, what is this uh, data contents in this order those are nothing but the products so these are related between these three tables so now for example let's say that and afterwards after successfully placing of the order we will delete the entire the cart details so now the cart will be empty so that is the main purpose <clears throat> now he has an orders now order does it has many users no order a, a single order belongs to a single user only so that means a order has one user that means nothing but we can say it as belongs to user so a order always belongs to user and another one is coming to the user perspective user how many how many things it will has so how many how many orders he can have user can have only one order no user can place multiple orders so you can have multiple orders then what i can do user has many orders so here we have used has many so then we can remove this has many now this one belongs to the user only so the order and the user relation between these two things is order belongs to a user and a user can have many orders so user does not belong to your order so user can has can have many orders so this is the relationship one to many relationship now come to the order and the product relationship now if you come to the order and the product product relationship order has many products right it's correct order has many products in the same way a product can also have many orders also so a single product can belongs to multiple orders and also the order can have the multiple products so now here we are having harder order has many products and the product has many products right so that means it is many to many relationship so we can have here belongs to many products and also here you can have something like product belongs to many order so you can have an in pivot table or intermediate table something like order underscore products something like this also you can maintain it or otherwise i will maintain something like order items so anything whichever you want you can maintain the name is itself the name is intended for you depending on the programming language what you are using so you can use it so now let's go on to this one so here i will be having these all things so let's create an order model so now let's create an order model here i will be creating order model.js file sorry we need to rename this file order model.js file so let it create so we have order model.js file so here i'll be having constant order is equal to equalize dot define so in this one we'll be having order and here i'll be having id type is equal to data type dot data types dot begin and another one we'll be having is hello null false 
and the another one last one we'll be having is primary key is true and the last one we'll be having is auto increment auto increment it is of true that's it so this is our order and we can have sorry and we can have module dot exports is equal to order now we have another one that is nothing but order item so let's try to create order item model dot js file and here i will be creating and this one also constant order item is equal to equalize dot define in this one you will be having first one is order item and the another one is id which is of type type data types data types dot begin another one is auto increment true and primary key primary key true and alone null false you may get up so that's it so this is one thing and we need to have a quantity also so quantity so we'll be having quantity right for each product item so quantity and the type for this one is data type dot integer that's it so now here we can export module dot exports is equal to order item so here this is our order item so we have successfully created order model and also the order item it's time for us to associate the relationship between these two let's go to the app.js so where we are creating all the associations at the top <coughs> now we know that user can have many orders right user can have many order that is the one thing we have a new table that is nothing but order order dot belongs to user so order belongs to user that's one thing and order again order dot belongs to belongs to many product product this is one thing and that is also through through order item so this is one thing and here the product relationship also we need to have product dot belongs to belongs to many order product also belongs to many order and what i can say through through order item that's it so now here we have seen that product belongs to many order through order item and also here order belongs to the user user can have many orders and the order belongs to many product through the order item so this is our relationship which we want to design it so now we have successfully able to create the order tables and also its association in the next session we'll try to learn we will try to design the order page and we'll try to book the orders for that particular user hope you understood about this one first we'll try, uh, actually uh, not that one so we need to check these all the things right so let's try to keep it as sync course is equal to true so we need to check these all things also right so let's create these all the tables so hope i think these all are yeah all the tables has been created let's go to into this one and here i will try to refresh all so here we got the orders table and here id create id user id so we are able to get this one which order for which so you here also for order you can have address details shipping details and all those things you can have for particular order i am not mentioning those all things i want to make it as pretty simple and here we are having an order items so which id quantity create update rate and product id order id so we are having the relationship also so this is how we are creating an order with the product and all those things hope you understood about this one if you have any doubts or any suggestions please post the comments below to this video and if you like this video please do support me by subscribing to my channel thank you